Welcome to Resolving Shoulder Dystocia, the class teaching physiological shoulder release for providers serving active mobile birthing women. So when you're at a birth and the head is born and the rest of the baby won't come out, don't you wish you knew what was going on inside? Here we have the inside of the pelvis. We have the yellow pelvic bones. We have the blue shoulder girdle. When the head is born, we let that pause happen. But when the baby's talking to us, we want to change our strategy. Most of the literature addresses this type of shoulder dystocia, even though there's at least five types. This is the one you hear about the most. This baby was not caught at the inlet, so McRobertson's suprapubic would have done nothing for this baby. This baby was actually stuck at the sacral tuberous ligament. So if it wasn't for the flip-flop and anticipating that stuck shoulder to know what to do to get that baby out. Flip the mom over, lift her knee, lift her leg into running start position, also called Parker's. Rotate the baby into the oblique and remove the posterior arm. and to be able to work yeah. as a team. Okay, where are the shoulders? I can't reach those shoulders. Okay. So all I feel is neck. So can we do running let's, start? Yeah, let's get, okay. get your, let's do the right leg, because okay. I don't even know where the back is at this point. My assistant and I were so into doing what we were doing with all the rotating the baby, get the baby out. Rotation, rotation, rotation. Any realtor will tell you that that's the key to success. <laughs> now, everybody should go through this workshop. Every hospital. Are we on camera? Yeah, say it. Say it. Well, say it. <laughs> everybody should go on this. Every, but every hospital based provider should go through this course as well as out of hospital providers. Absolutely.